Hello everyone. In the upcoming sessions of geomorphology, we will be discussing some of the important hypotheses that relate to the origin of the earth and the universe. And in today's session, we will be discussing the gaseous hypothesis of Immanuel Kant. Immanuel Kant is a Prussian philosopher who brought out this theory in the year 1755 he presented his gaseous hypothesis in his treatise entitled the general natural history and the theory of heavens this theory is based on the newton's law of gravitation thus the theory is also on the view that every point mass in the universe attracts every other point mass with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them now let's look into what the hypothesis states according to kant in the beginning there was a primordial matter in the universe this primordial matter is composed of hard cold and motionless particles these particles started colliding each other due to gravitational attraction because of the collision the heat started to generate and the particles gradually turned into hot and rotating nebula thus the nebula was created a nebula can be thus defined as a giant cloud of dust and gas in the space the speed of the rotating nebula increased with increasing temperature due to more and more collision thus due to the increasing temperature and rotational speed a bulge has created in the equatorial part of the nebula due to centrifugal force when the centrifugal force become more and more stronger the central bulge has separated from the nebula in the form of a ring these rings that were thrown out condensed into present day planets likewise seven successive rings were thrown out to form the remaining planets in our solar system the remaining part of the original nebula became the present day sun similarly like the nebula the planets while rotating at a great velocity on its own axis also thrown rings which became our satellites thus the earth is considered to be formed due to collection and solidification of the materials that are separated from nebula in the form of rings due to strong centrifugal force now let's look into what are the criticisms against this theory kant's assumption that the mutual collision of particles of the primordial matter can change or increase the rotational speed however this view is against the principle of conservation of angular momentum which states that the total angular momentum of a system has a constant magnitude and direction unless an external force is subject on it and here no such external force is mentioned in the hypothesis the assumption of increasing velocity of the rotation of nebula with increasing size is also against the law of mathematics generally it is inversely proportional as per the law of mathematics kant was not able to explain the source of energy that brought the random motion of the hard and cold primordial matter in the beginning he was not able to include the saturn's ring as a best example or clue to his hypothesis a large amount of heat cannot be generated due to collision of cold particles of primordial matter this was argued by many scientists and hence challenged his view moreover the random motion of primordial matter cannot create a circular motion i hope you have enjoyed the session post your queries and suggestions in the comment box or in the google classroom I wish everyone a great day. Thank you all.